and scrape it around in the leaves a little bit. And there you see the back end. Looks like another uh, baking soda bottle. There it is. It's just laying up here. Near this big tree. Scraped away some leaves. And here it's been probably laying here for a hundred years. So let's get this thing out of the ground. Let's see what it looks like. It looks like it's totally intact. Yep. Yeah. There's a root in it. Be careful. I don't want this thing laying in the ground for a hundred years and then I come along and tear it up. There it is. Laying there all this time, just waiting for me. Let's see what kind it is. It is. Looks like another Rumford. It's hard to tell. Anyway. Anyway, yep, it's a Davis OK baking powder. All right, turn of the century. Still got a nice green. Not bad. All right, now we're going to look for some medicine bottles. All right, yep, so what do you got? It's just probing here. No, I can hear it. And hit glass, just like that. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, clear it out. Let me see if we get down in here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So about All three right. inches deep. I hit glass. Let's hope it's something. Uh, Let's see if it's a whole bottle. It looks like it's a whole bottle. Don't pry it. I don't want to pry it out <laughs> uh -uh. too fast. Nope. It's kind of running down. Another bottle laying here for over a hundred years. And the last thing we want to do is Just break it on the way break out. Break it on the way out. All right. Okay. It looks like it's got the neck. <laughs> Careful. I know. I can't wait. Careful. Patience, I wonder if patience. it's another Davis bottle. It is. It is. Another Davis another bottle. Another Davis, okay. Yeah, it's way down there, though. Baking soda. Yeah. Not bad. It's down there a good three or four inches, at least. Yeah. All right. Cute little bottle. And just before that, we found this bottle sticking up out of the ground a little bit. The rest of it was in the ground. Old whiskey bottle. Unfortunately, it was broken on the bottom. It's still a cool bottle. We're down in this road bed in this old, old house site that dated back way back. I mean, geez, Kevin, what do you think? Back to the early 1800s, possibly. Probably back to the colonial times. Yeah, so colonial right house right. site. Here's the old road bed. Now there's a newer road bed that just goes right up on the top. We're in the old road bed that they probably abandoned, and you can see it's deep. There's huge trees growing out of it, and they probably started tossing their trash down here, so we're going to check this out and see if we can dig another one. Alright, let's do it. Alright, Kevin's got to Another, another bottle. bottle. Let's see. And that sun is bright. <clears throat> oh, it's broken. Is it? Yeah. No, it's not, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's a food bottle. Oh, it's a food bottle. Where's it broken at? Oh, uh, yeah. Hold it on the side. Oh, well. Still pretty cool. They're dumping their trash down here, that's for sure. Alright, here it is. Another one just... Steve just eyeballed a bottle yep. by raking. Just kind of sticking out of the lead here. Let's hope it's intact. A lot of them been broken. It looks intact. It does. Just want to be careful. It's got a long neck on it. Looks like one of those Tivoli beer bottles. Oh yeah, I feel the neck. Of it. It's going way up. So we'll treat it good. <clears throat> oh yeah. Last thing I want to do is break this thing. Oh, look at it, man. I think it's all there. Look at that. Nice. Yeah. All right, it's up underneath the root. There I'm we go. I'll just pull it out. There we go. There, there it is. Go. Look at that. It's totally intact. Look at that pinkish color. Nice. Look at that. Full of water. Look at that. All right. That's Tivoli uh, Manufacturing Company. It's right over here in uh, Alexandria. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Let's look for some more. And when I was oh, yeah. filming Steve, I just happened to eyeball a bottle right past them. Look at right that. Look at that. in the ground. Look at that. You can just see the growth that's been growing that thing. I think it's like been a sitting there for hundreds of years. Terrarium. Look at that. 
two bottles in a row without even turning the camera off. Oh, I just let it grow in there. Nice. Yeah. Another Davis okay? Another Davis okay. That's pretty wild. All right, let's keep, let's keep digging. All right, got another bottle here. <laughs> They're starting to pop out left and right now. Steve found it probing. Yep. Still not sure what it is. It's down there. We found Probed four. it. Then I, uh, then I took my shovel and scraped a few inches off, and there it is. So far, four Davis uh, OK baking soda gosh, bottles. Look at that. Is. Look at that. There it is. Beautiful looking bottle. Let me take a little off right here. All right. I'm just babying this thing. Last thing I want to do is break a bottle. It's so hard to find. It looks like another baking soda. I'm sure it is. Last thing I want to hear is cracking glass. But, you know, we're probing the bottles and then you hear that sound and, and you know you got to be careful. It's right up underneath this root. There we go. Right. Slow it out, Steve. There we go. There it is. Here it comes. Yep, another one. All right. Number five for the day. All right. It's another Davis bottle, but hey, it's a bottle. It's a bottle. Uh oh. Hey Steve, I just broke the bottle over here. I thought you did. I could tell you were staying in that spot for a while. <clears throat> Look at this road bed. <clears throat> I knew it. Medicine. Right. What do you got? Your blue medicine. Oh my god, look at that. Get this little critter out of here. Yeah, toss that thing away. Oh, look at that. Nice. Let me get out of the sun here. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, look at that Both bottle. Sides. Nice medicine bottle. Look at that. Let Hopefully me get a close-up of that. Hopefully there's embossing on the other side. Flip it out. Here we go. Yes! Oh, embossing on the other side. Oh, man, it looks like a swamp root bottle. Swamp root. It's swamp root. That is a <laughs> nice bottle. That is nice. a swamp root bottle, kidney and liver medicine. That is nice, turn of the century bottle. That's probably the nicest bottle to come out of here. Yep. Awesome, all right, let's keep digging. All right, another bottle. Probed what might be another bottle. Okay, at this point, we've already dug close to 10 Davis OK baking powder bottles. So we're, we're over that now. It looks like uh, we might have a medicine. Looks like Kevin's got a medicine here. Looks like it's got a square base, which is good. We have dug a swamp root in here today. Here it comes. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Let me get in here. There we go. It's kind of dark here. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Right there. Oh, yeah. It's got a little break on the side. Oh, well. Otherwise, it would have been a cute little bottle. Been a nice bottle. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well. A little medicine. A little medicine. No, uh, didn't no have markings, any. No markings, no embossing. Yeah, it's too bad. But luckily, it wasn't the swamp root bottle that was broken. Yep. All right. Keep digging for more. All right. I just got another bottle signal. A nice looking one. At this point now, we've been digging for a few hours. We've dug more than a dozen Davis OK baking powder bottles. So close to 16 yep, Davis we're at, OKs. We're at the end of the hunt. We found another bottle dump area. The sun's setting. We're trying that we're scrambling to try and get the last bottles out of here, and this one just appeared. I just oh my god, look at this blast. one. Look at this one. Look at the color on it. Whoa. It's looking nice. The neck is coming in right here. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. Beautiful. Let's see. Pry it out, Steve. Yeah, cry it out. <laughs> Tell you what, all honesty, these things really are delicate when they're laying in the ground like this. There could be roots around it. Yeah, it's, it, looks... it is really wedged in there. All right, I'm going to be careful. It's got some nice color. Mm -hmm. So I'm going right around it. Oh my god, it looks like a Tivoli beer bottle. No, I don't know. I can't tell now. Could be a champagne, a wine. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Man. Could be something from an earlier time period. Oh my god, it is really wedged in there. I do not want to pry this thing out of there. Okay, let me find, let me find the end of it. Okay, 
It's a it's, long bottle. There we go. It's coming out now. Don't pry it by the neck. I know. Okay. Be careful. If you want to. Oh, there it comes. All right. Ready? Here we go. Totally intact. Looks like a Tivoli beer bottle. No. Oh, oh what man, is that? this is something totally different. What is this? All right. Washington. Oh, there's a. Washington, D.C. What is that? Oh, it, oh, it's got no base. No, is the base? Oh, the base is broken out. It'll of, still okay. display nice. Yeah, let's see. What's that say? It's a Washington. brewery. I can't make up the writing on it. Damn it, the base is broken on it. C.H. Heyrich Brewing Company. Brewing Company. Hey, you know what? That is That's cool, though. I'll find the base and maybe I can put it back together again. All right. Nice. That's cool. All right, I just dug that, uh, okay, that beer bottle with the broken base. And just below it, another really nice bottle. I don't know what this is, but it's similar. It's got a brownish color to it. Looks like it's totally intact. Again, we're getting down to the end of the hunt. So we are frantically trying to make sure that we can get whatever we can out of here. Oh god, you gotta be kidding me. Something right here though. Different different bottle. I know. I think it might be that Davis OK bottom. Okay. This one looks totally intact. Taking my time because I don't want to break this baby coming out of here. Ooh, I'm gotta be careful with this knife. There it goes. All right, here we go. God, it's completely intact. Beautiful. Look at that. I don't know what it is yet. Let me get my gloves on and I'll wipe it up. There it is. Yeah, Another Tivoli bottle. Cleaned it up. It's a Tivoli beer bottle from the Tivoli Manufacturing Company. It's right here in Alexandria. Somewhere right around the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. So it's a local beer manufacturer. And this is uh, the Portner Brewing Company, actually, who uh, owned all Manassas at that time. Nice. All right, Steve's another, got another bottle. One. Man, these things are just coming out now. All right. and there appears to be another bottle right underneath of it. We'll see. This looks like another beer-type bottle, maybe. Let me get that neck out of there. See, there's one right there. Whatever that is, it's, I think it's broken now. We've got to take this whole area out. Okay. Oh, be careful. Come on. Dig up underneath of it. Yeah, it's coming out. Oh, there we go. I, you know, I think there might be a root in there because it feels like it's hung up on something. It is. Now, what is this? This is totally different. Nice color to oh, it. Man, this is green. Beautiful this emerald is green. Arlington Bottling Company. Washington. Washington, D.C. It says uh, trade mark ABC. No, AB Company. Mark Wow, look at that. It's got Beautiful. some liquid in it. <laughs> nice color, though. Yeah. Awesome. Good find, nice Steve. Old bottle. All right. All right. We just dug that Tivoli bottle. And right here, I just cleared the dirt away a little bit, saw the edge of another bottle come up. So we're going to see what this one is because it's got a square base. So hopefully it's, well obviously it's different. Look at that. Oh, it's a medicine bottle. That's in there. Okay. Oh, look at that. All right. Groves nice Tasteless. Groves Tasteless uh, chill, chill tonic. tonic. Yep. Awesome. Medicine bottle. Cool. All right, man, we're on a roll now. Well, and got... Kevin has one over here. We really got into a bottle dump this time. 
Hopefully it's intact. Found, finally found it. Oh yeah, here we go. Looks like another medicine. Oh, I think it's Careful. broken. Is it? I don't know. No, we'll it's, see. Oh, it's totally intact. Oh, no, it's, it's broken. broken. Okay, oh, another well. it was close. nice little medicine bottle, but it's got a, the edges broken off. Any in embossing on it? No embossing. Oh, okay. well. Okay. We're trying to rack as many bottles out of here as we can because the day's getting short. All right, moving on over here. Another yep. bottle coming out. Hopefully Kevin just hole. unearthed. It's dark. Looks like another dark, possible beer bottle type. We are running out of daylight. Looking good so far. Another two months, we won't even be able to get into this place. It'll be so thick and nasty. Look at that. Wow. Good dark glass. Nice long neck. It looks like a Tivoli bottle. Or some kind of beer bottle. Or some kind of beer bottle, yep. Long it might be. Neck. Oh, actually, it looks a little longer and more narrow. Wow, that's a nice one. Come on, Kevin, pull it out. Here it comes. Here it is. What is it? Oh, it's a Pabst. <laughs> that is cool. Pabst Milwaukee. Yeah, from like a hundred years ago. Yeah. That is so neat. That is a totally different bottle. I've never even seen one like that. Hmm. Awesome. Let's keep digging. We're running out of daylight. Well, we had to call it a day. The bottles are still rolling out, but it's getting dark. Sun's rolling down, and this is the cache of bottles for the day. Look at that. Look at that. We had no expectation of this many bottles. Look at the flask. I don't remember if we caught this, but this is that warranted flask that Kevin dug earlier. Big, huge flask, perfect shape, nice. That's a nice one. The Paps bottle. These are the Davis OK uh, baking powder bottles, tons of them. Not sure what this one is. Looks like a little ketchup bottle, maybe. Real nice food bottle here. All these Davis pow uh, baking powder bottles. We got the chill tonic bottle right here. That's a medicine. Got a medicine here. Oh, this is the swamp root. This is a really neat bottle. Swamp root kidney and liver medicine. We got a couple Tivoli bottles here. We got that Washington DC with a broken base. Bummer. Still nice. Just a nice spread of bottles out of here. And we're not even done. And there they are. And this is the area that we dug them in. This roadbed had been abandoned for Oh, I don't know, Kevin, what would you say? Probably almost 100 years this roadbed's been abandoned. They used it as a trash pit after uh, they quit using the roadbed. And here's where we did most of our digging. <laughs> but, I mean, it just goes on and on. We cleared this entire roadbed out by hand today. And it just goes on and on. You can see how deep it is from when it was being used. But, time to call it a day, I guess, and if we don't come back this season, we'll come back the next. And there's Kevin with the bottles. I think Kevin out dug me in the bottle department, but we both got some good ones. Alright, so we're hauling this uh, haul of bottles out of here. And Kevin's on one side, I'm on the other, and he's going, look at this! He points down. We're walking across in here, laying in the leaves, about a hundred yards from our site, a nice is a nice whiskey bottle just laying in the leaves. Unbelievable. Only Kevin Ambrose. Look at that thing. It's been laying in the leaves like that probably since, I don't know, what do you think, Kevin, 1910? Probably. Amazing. One more bottle. One more bottle on the way out. <laughs>